In the next part of the module, we will be hearing from Professor Jonathan Zittrain, who is the George Bemis Professor of Law at Harvard Law School and the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, as well as Professor of Computer Science at the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Vice Dean for Library and Information Resources at the Harvard Law School Library, and Co-Founder and Faculty Chair of the Berkman Center for Internet Law and Society. Professor Zittrain was also previously Professor of Internet Governance and Regulation at Oxford University and a Principal of the Oxford Internet Institute. His research interests include battles for control of digital property and content, cryptography, electronic privacy and the roles of intermediaries within Internet architecture. Professor Zittrain has published a number of highly influential pieces regarding the nature and governance of the Internet and he provides us with unique insights into both the technological and legal contexts of the Internet. In 2006, he published an article in the Harvard Law Review called The Generative Internet, in which he outlined his theory of the Internet as a network where all of the intelligence is built onto the end of the network instead of in the middle. This meant that the network encourages innovation where people can build open applications which can work in an interoperable environment on a network without centralised control, which can mandate what software must be used and how information should flow. Thus, the open internet has limited choke points and unlike the hub and spoke model of the telephone, the redundancy of the network means that no one entity can control, restrict or monitor all of the traffic on the internet. However, as the nature of the internet changes, so does this capacity for control. He expanded on these views in his book, The Future of the Internet and How to Stop It, published in 2008. That book predicted the end of general purpose client computing and the corresponding rise of new gatekeepers. In his 2010 article, Will the Web Break? Professor Zittrain further observed, for example, that the rise of paternalistic de facto corporate content creation is one way in which it is worth asking if the web is breaking. These issues are a key concern for this course in ascertaining who, if anyone, has the capacity and means to control the flow of information on the internet. We travelled to Harvard to speak to Professor Zittrain in person. In the first section of the module, he'll provide an overview of the theory of the generative nature of the internet, which he has described as amazing, interesting and surprising, and what this means for the development of the internet and networked technologies. In the second section of the module, he provides an insight into his thoughts on the future of the internet and what may be lost in the corporatized, non-generative internet. All of these issues of control versus openness are vital issues in the context of surveillance.